Hi guys. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome back to another video. And today I have a special guest, my daughter, Natalie. <laughs> She's a little rusty. She hasn't been in front of the camera for a little while. She's looking at Uno. Yes, we're gonna play Uno later because we're having a mommy and me moment. She doesn't even realize it. Look how small this thing is though. I remember it being bigger. Anyhow, that's not why you're here. You're here because we are going to be going through for the next four days a, a book that is near and dear to my heart. It is one of the first books that I read when I was very young and it is The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And if you haven't heard of it, because I know uh, it's like a big time bestseller, etc. But even if you have heard of it, it's always good for us to revisit because I'm always like revisiting basically again too. And I can't find my copy of the book. I maybe Marie Kondoed it, but I definitely have it on audiobook and on like, you know, we're an ebook. So check it out if you want. And I will say in that book. <laughs> Get past through the first part because it gets like, you know, goes through a couple things, but we're going to skip that and go to the first agreement. So the first agreement is... Be impeccable with your word. Yay! Yay! Be impeccable with your word. And so when you hear that, because did you listen to the whole audiobook? No. I think you were supposed to. No. Were you, were you not impeccable? Yes. Okay, you're going to have to listen to it now, tonight. All right, what do you think that means? But you just kind of explained it because I just asked you. Yeah, and I kind of read through about it. But be, basically, of course, it's, you know, speak the truth for sure, but not only like to ourselves, but I mean, not only to others, but also to ourselves. So, and like, I've like taken this so much to heart that I literally, you can ask Natalie, like, can I lie? <laughs> Seriously, can I lie? To the real estate agents. Okay, so she. You always I'm lie not to lying to the real. Agents. No, Natalie, I'm not lying to the real estate. She's so okay, but seriously, can I lie? Like when I pick you up from school and they ask me questions, like, is this excuse? Remember the guy where we were driving on, or we were? He was on the bike and he was like saying something about. Um, yes. And so can I lie? No. It's hard for me to lie. I've taken this so seriously that it is, you can ask me anything and it's going to be impossible. I don't even want to lie. I don't want to. I decided that, but it's like, I've now ingrained myself not to lie so badly that even when it doesn't necessarily make sense to tell the truth because of lack of time or whatever the reason. I cannot help myself and it just makes for some interesting times. What she's talking about with the real estate agent is it's not a lie. Every time we go in, we were looking for places, I would go in and I would literally picture us being there. I would be like, oh my God, I love this. Blah, blah, I, I can see us living here, blah, 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 blah. And then afterwards, I'm like, okay, maybe it wasn't the best place, but I wasn't lying. I literally, I have a challenge where I feel like I can fit in anywhere and I can kind of love everything. So that's what she's talking about. So I would just say, yes, like we don't lie. Like if, don't ever call yourself a name, you know, or, or other people. Like if we're driving, this is just a bad example. I am going to do a video on road rage soon though. Wait, but I'm excited for that video. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to do a video about road rage. Um, but like, let's say you're driving and you know, somebody like needs to get over or something like that. You, and you get upset. Like somebody might call them like you idiot, like, right. And, and, and no judgment. Like if you really think that they are an idiot, okay. But really they might not, you know what I mean? Like being impeccable with your word might mean like, Oh, I guess they needed to get over. You know what I mean? So who knows if they're an idiot, if they're smart, if they're intelligent, like they just needed to get over and maybe you didn't like how they did it. But, um, you know, so no gossiping and it, gossiping doesn't mean like talking or discussing things with family to each other about each other, because I do that all the time and I don't feel like it's, I feel like gossiping is lying, right Natalie? Like there's a difference between talking about family members and expressing like concern and discussing things versus literally gossiping, you know, but well, the thing was saying that not even just about not lying, but don't 
say any hurtful things. Don't say anything that's supposed to cause harm to someone else. Yes, yes. Or cause harm to yourself. Yeah, speak with in, in just incredible integrity. Um, you can't ever be mean to me. No, I say things all the time. But see, but that's, that's, not allowed. that's different. No, that is it allowed. It says don't no, say anything no. hurtful. No, I don't. I'm not. I don't say things hurtful. I say things as a joke, and it makes me feel better. Anyhow, so only say what you mean and speak what you truly desire. So don't be like, don't even say things like, oh God, I'm so broke, blah, blah, blah. Be like literally, and that's a manifestation tool, right? Is to be like, you know, I have all the money I need and I'm going to be get, you know, money flows to me. Like what are, what are some of the funny sayings? Like money flows to me in every way or whatnot, and truly the money that exists that you want already exists in the world. You just might not physically have it in your account yet, but it's already there. So you already technically have it is the way that I put it. Um, and then, yeah, so definitely just use your words in a positive direction. Always speak what you want to yourself, even you know if it's in your mind, you don't actually have to physically say it. So yeah, so be impeccable with your word, like have it be perfect. Um, and I will say that I'm someone who like, even when I'm talking about other people and they're not in the room, I usually try to talk, unless I'm like with Natalie or something like that, but for the most part, I'm saying things that even if they heard me, they overheard me saying it on accident or whatever, that they wouldn't, they couldn't be mad about it. You know what I mean? Like they, they know that it's coming from a truthful place. And even when, things have been hard or difficult for me to say because the truth wasn't going to sit well with people. I, this is where, this has gotten me into situations with regular jobs. That's why, thank goodness, knock on wood, I am totally free from the corporate world um, in the sense of having a regular job. I can do consulting and contracting on my own because in those positions, when I'm asked a question about something even if I knew or thought that it was going against what a really high up person wanted me to say but if I knew in my heart it just really wasn't true and I was asked the direct question I would give the advice based on what was truth and um, that doesn't always get you far <laughs> in the corporate world um, because they want sometimes they want you to stick with whatever and I always I've always decided I'm gonna stick with my truth first and foremost and whatever happens ends up happening. So that's another example with being impeccable with your word. So we're gonna try to keep these quick. So first one, any any other comments or thoughts about being impeccable with your word? Um, I know another religion, I don't remember what it was, but it was something like, it was a really similar concept of just like, nobody should speak anything with the intention to hurt someone else. Yeah. Which is, that's just a nice thing to think, like, yeah, that's just a nice, that's a nice thing, that's a nice thing to do, you shouldn't be trying to hurt people with your words, you know, yeah. in general, yeah, because even if words don't break my bones or whatever, but, exactly, it's just not nice, it's just not nice, <laughs> if you that. can't, don't have everything nice to say, and try not to say anything at all, look. yeah, it never like looks half good, half of the time, like, even if it's funny, then people are just gonna remember, they'll be like, oh, not the best look especially not all the time yeah and I would be careful honestly with like white lies and stuff like that because I know situations where people have like white they white lie stuff all the time and it's like they're like lying about things that aren't that big of a deal but your brain gets stuck in that mode and they just can't help it they lie about everything and anything when it doesn't make absolutely any sense but remember every action that we're doing we're wiring our brain and our bodies to memorize so if you just naturally keep white line your brain just automatically connects to us and white lies about everything and you know I just I took on such a hardcore role about not lying because I kind of got raised learning how learning to lie my mom and my dad had really opposite ideas on parenting and so my mom used to teach me to that we lie to my dad to protect him because he was really 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 strict and she was really the other side and so I grew up kind of thinking like oh you lie to people so that you could protect them and I'm like this is a good thing right but when I became a young adult I realized that that was like the worst thing you can do I can't tell you 
how it just snowballs and it just gets into more trouble and just more feelings are hurt and blah 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 blah. but I had to undo that and so I think that's why I took on such a strong stance of like never ever ever lying I mean I can't tell you how many when I used to have a regular job and I would call out or something it was like so funny I'm sure my boss you know at one point it was just like Jamie I don't need to know all of that but I would literally be like oh my gosh I woke up this morning I wasn't really feeling good but then I realized it's such a sunny day and I wasn't already feeling good and I thought you know should I go to work or should I do you know and I decided I just really need this day to go blah 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 blah, blah. plus you know my cousins in town and blah blah blah, blah. and all of it would be like a thousand percent true but it was like way going into things that I really didn't need to go into um, and then I learned quickly that I, I could just say I'm not coming in but I would never lie and say I'm sick or, or my dog is sick or anything like that I just don't I'm very impeccable with my word with that like if I don't want to tell you what's going on then I'll just say I'm sorry I'm not able to come in or whatever it is but um, but yeah I'm just truly truly impeccable with my word and it's great because you don't have to memorize anything you literally just say whatever because you know the truth is I know some like friends and maybe some family that they <laughs> why would you add that I'm That's sorry. your problem. <laughs> That's where being impeccable, impeccable when your word gets you. Why would you add? Family? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But look, this is funny. They'll, they'll, they'll have like situations where they're like, listen, if you can't say that you saw me here, I wasn't here. I was this. I was that. I was that. And I'm like looking at them like I'm so confused. Like I can't. And then like if somebody came around that I was supposed to know this like story for, I would literally just not even talk to them. Like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, good to see you. And just like run because I couldn't memorize the story I was supposed to remember. <laughs> Anyhow, that's all. Thank you for joining. Natalie, are you going to join for the next three? No. Yes, you are. Be impeccable. I'm being impeccable no. with my word. <laughs> I said no. Okay, and I'm being impeccable with my word. And what mother's Trump decision, Jess? So, really, I'm saying, Natalie, you will be here for the next three, correct? I can't lie. Exactly, so you are going to be here for the next three because I said so. Oh, I thought I was supposed to speak what I want to the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for agreement number two. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I don't even know what the second.